Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we will be teaching you how you can navigate Business Central and learn how you can perform day-to-day -day tasks. And this video, we as a functional consultant will be recapping what I had done in my earlier video. And due to some technical difficulties, I was not able to share two different screens. So as a recap, in this video, I will be teaching you how you can use Excel sheet and edit journal lines and connect that Excel sheet with Business Central Cloud as well as enabling a drawback which uh, uh, Business Central has uh, when you actually download the template is that it does not transfer shortcut dimensions. And the way you can actually uh, download the template is either through a configuration package which I had discussed in my earlier video or you can go into a journal and click page and edit in Excel that will save the file you will receive something like this uh, as you may have noticed there are some hidden columns which I feel are unnecessary so we do not really need them in order to populate the majority or the main ones that I have uh, unhidden are the ones that we would need in order to populate the journal line so and uh, what I mentioned about the uh, drawback in uh, in this template is that the shortcut dimension does not show up uh, however you do see shortcut dimension one and two but these are actually the global dimensions if you go into the generalizer setup you can see that for some reason business central copies the shortcut dimension one and two as their global dimension so this is uh, available out of the box functionality but i will teach you how you can enable the other shortcut dimensions uh, without programming so let's start with that first so the way you would do is to actually go into designs once you have everything connected and you sign in uh, you go into the design click the edit button and here as you can see there are fields that you can add into this template uh, fields like uh, total debit function or total credit these are uneditable fields so these are not recognized these are fixed fields that you cannot edit and it's the same thing with the account name that you even if you were to insert this account name into the excel template uh, you cannot edit the field so be my guest to actually try it out but i have tried it out and that is what exactly happened so if you go down these are the shortcut dimensions that you can uh, add into this template so simply click on this press the add button update and it will ask you to clear and I have done that actually already so the shortcut dimension 6 is available here in my template so this is how you actually go to the back end and enable shortcut dimension without coding anything the way you would know which dimension to actually enable uh, you can go into the journal line and have a look so this is shortcut dimension 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so dimension 6 is what I have enabled at the moment now what we're going to do is actually populate this so a few things to consider and uh, you should be wary about is that you need to drag this guy down and make sure that this sort of a rectangle captures your uh, journal line otherwise it will not populate so uh, let's continue how we can uh, populate this and you will see how easy it is to actually populate this excel sheet and uh, it will be transferred into business central so i'm just gonna copy and paste this uh, drag this guy down it should be a separate line separate document number of course fundamentals of business central I don't need the external document number, but you can always put something there. I'm going to copy and paste all these guys and just to make life easy for us. I'm going to change the amount so we see the amount to be different. And the shortcut dimension 1 and 2 are global dimensions. So sometimes uh, your vendors are assigned these dimensions already. So if they are, then you can simply skip these and they are populated automatically if you leave them blank. Or we can simply copy and paste the same ones uh, so I'll just copy and paste the same ones for the ease and general template name uh, as you know the general template name is right here the general journals so I'm just gonna copy and paste that 
and the general batch name I am going into this batch name so yearly RSP draw is the batch name so I'm going to be populating this general line there uh, line number um, if you don't know a little bit about development in Visual Central line numbers are increments of 10,000 so as you can see the very first line is 10,000 then 20,000 30,000 good thing about this uh, functionality of uh, Excel is that we can use uh, functions or we can use the formulas that are built in, in Excel sheet so for instance if I were to uh, take this and sum it up to and add 10,000 in here we'll get 40,000 so if you have a massive data that you're copy and pasting uh, instead of you going through line by line and adding an increment of 10,000 just write a formula drag this down and close the series and you should be okay with the regulars so in this case, I'll just keep the shortcut dimension as uh, BC. At this point, we should publish. See, it is publishing, and it should be able to populate what we have on the other side. So publish successful, workbook is updated. So let's go back into the uh, via R RSP journal, and there we go. So we have the fourth line uh, inserted into Excel. Well, from the Excel into Visual Central. So, as you can see here, everything is populated, and that is how you connect Excel with Business Central.